Yes. Committed. Mm. All right. If you, you be one. Alright, E. Where I spell to commutator end in bracket. Because this is commutator end in bracket. So the commutator end in bracket carries the bearing, the, the bearing that the bank constator motor is running. So uh, basically, there are no electrical tests that you carry out on this one. It's only hand and eye inspection. So check out the free play, the bearing in the shaft. So we're just testing the free play. It should be just sufficient free play to allow this to, to allow the amateur to detect things within what? Uh, within that, within that beer. Yes. So I had the inspection, we will check for beer in free play. Then yes. Five. Committed the end bracket. Then drive end bracket, that's the bracket which houses the drive assembly. So I had the eye inspection for any cracks or any broken parts of the drive end bracket. Then you also test for uh, free play. Then it free play will be very very large. It should be just sufficient to allow easy rotation of the what of the shaft, easy rotation of the armature within the what within the beam. So there are no electrical tests there that I carried out. Then um, the armature, uh, the armature will test for insulation. We test for resistance. So the windings should be the windings should be totally insulated from the, from the shaft and the core. So we cross check that using the mount meter. Uh, testing for insulation, you, you set up the meter to the correct function, that is the complete function. Then one probe on the commutator, one probe on the commutator, the other probe on the core. You don't expect any reading or any audible or visual signal, you continue it. So I take a dice on a commutator to shaft, commutator to shaft, no reading, commutator to core. No reading, this is normal. Commutator to shaft, even on the other side, this is very normal. We repeat that here. Commutator to shaft, commutator to shaft, no reading. Commutator to core, no reading as well. Then commutator to shaft, no reading as well. So that is normal. Then when we test resistance, Resistance between windings with resistance between C segments. It should be the same right round. Resistance should be the same right round. So, um, selecting any pair of segments, the reading should be the same. 0 0.5, 0 0.3, plus 0 0.3, 0 0.3 again. 0.3. So right round the resistance reading should be the same. Uh, let's repeat on this other armature. 0 0.3. 0 0.3. 0 0.3. Uh, so it shows that uh, this uh, the, the, the armature here uh, still in good working order. And uh, it's a life. So per amateur we test for resistance, we test for insulation. Then uh, the drive assembly, we inspect the eye inspection, we should just cross-check in one direction the pinion is free running, the other direction the pinion is locked to the what? To the uh, to the overrunning clutch. That is what is normal. So that's how we test. Then the eye inspection. Any damaged the pinion gears or uh, any damaged areas of the, the drive assembly, you should observe that this should be free, it should move freely, move forward and rotate to facilitate easy meshing and instant meshing with the plywood. And you do the same thing here. Thus, your drive assembly should not be stuck. 
Let us say you should not be stuck in G. Uma, uma slotting. Any, uma splines. Any. Then uh, the pinion should be free running in one direction, logged in the other direction. Any. Then the solenoid, the solenoid is tested for continuity uh, of the pulling winding. Continuity of the pulling winding, continuity of the holding winding. So, the ISO to be housing. So that's the holding winding. So the holding winding is good. That's the pulling winding. So the pulling winding is okay. Then you push the plunger. We want to test the tester my conducts, no test my conducts. And here, yeah. yeah. release, yeah. okay. So it means my conducts are going to say, I look shy. And so this solar means is okay, both pulling, pulling winding and holding winding are okay, and uh, the conducts can come. So let's repeat this on the other one. Um, the pulling winding, we are testing the pulling winding. This is the start terminal to the motor terminal. Then start terminal to the housing, that's the holding winding. You know your graphic here, it's a good tester, remember that. Yeah. Start terminal to the holding winding, uh, that's... So the holding winding has failed. <coughs> Then you push the conducts to close them. Hard. Yes. Uh -huh. That's fine. Okay. So uh, this solenoid is an open circuit holding winding. This one is an open circuit holding winding. So I check which one is. It's about replacing, not to replace. Anyway. Then the housing. On the housing, we test continuity, we test insulation. Anyway. So this shows that there is continuity. That's continuity. So current can easily flow in all these fluid coils. Then we also test for insulation. So what we are saying is the house, the, the, the fluid coils are properly and completely insulated from the what? From the housing. And this we repeat the same test on this one. So this is the solenoid terminal, the terminal at the solenoid. Then There is no continuity, no continuity for the housing. This is normal. Then um, we test continuity of the field coils. So there is continuity. Only that one of the, of the terminal is broken. The terminal that is supposed to be connected to the brush box is broken there. But this is where this is where continuity is supposed to exist between this terminal and that. So those are the electrical tests and the non-electrical tests that we carry out only this number of statements. Mm.